Okay, guys. Stephanie kept calling, so I had to stop and talk to her because it kept shutting off the video, and you guys know that I can't edit. So hopefully I can pick this up in a way that makes sense for the second version, or the second part. So anyway, her um, ego... So we basically got the ego feeding the physical energy of the human body and the artist side, which is the star seed energy that inhabits the body. So I think I think a video that got cut off, I said, suggested to her that she talk to the human body. That's going to be the easiest one to deal with because she can assure the human body that it is going with her to 5D. It's not going to die. It's not going anywhere. It doesn't need to be in fear. And to explain what 5D Earth is going to be like to that human body. That it will not have any more pain. Um, that it will have all this freedom. So just assure it that you love it and you're taking it with you. That'll be the easy one to do. The harder one to do is the egoic side. The egoic side, in her case and probably others, is very, very strong. Um, she is in her 40s and so she has been playing this game for a while. And so the ego has been built to protect her. And you can feel, I can feel this protection of her life all around her. And like, I don't know if I said this in part one, but that is wonderful for protection. It's created a very soft, I mean, a very solid uh, life. Not exceptionally exciting, but very safe life for her. But it isn't conducive to go into 5D. It's very, um, the movement, energetic movement is very limited and the new energies are blocked from this life that e the ego has protected and, and built. It's got a wall around it. And although there's movement within it, it's very back and forth, back and forth. It's not flowy. It's not from the outside in cleansing out, bringing in new. It doesn't allow for that. She very, very much wants to go to 5D. So this is where we stand on this. Now, I don't know if the first one I told her told you this, but I'm going to say it again because it's a good thing to hear because this is a next level video. So I've told you guys to be happier and happier, but in her case, she has two energies going on in her body. So when she does or says something that the artist side of her likes, the starseed aspect, the bully very much is unhappy. And when the bully does something that they're happy with, the artist is very unhappy. See that that intricacy there? And like I said, to get you from God to here was a very intricate process. If you're still here, it's going to be an intricate process to get out. Now, a lot of people with the New Age movement that were not as intricately involved in this energy work, their stuff quite possibly and did for many people work. But for anyone that is in listening to me, this, these are I'm, I'm talking to unique uh, people that are doing certain things. And in order for you guys to get home, it's going to be a lot more complex than that. Because especially in her case, so she's got her, her place. If you could look around here, she's got love and all this positive stuff that should work. But what she didn't realize is she has another aspect of herself that is just as powerful, contraindicating all of it. So one side of her is going, I want to accept these new vibrations. I want to be happier in this way. And I want to move on. And then she's got the other aspect of herself that goes, no, no, no. We're going to stay right here where it's safe. We know this is safe. We built it here. We know that this is good. This is a known fact. And they're, that aspect of her is countering the other aspect, which just does this back and forth, back and forth. You go nowhere. So ultimately, the bully aspect wins, but the bully's upset, not happy either, because the artist is always trying to get out, get away, get free. And the bully is always trying to stay home, stay safe, stay inside this fort of energy, you see. So, like I said, I suggested she talk to the body aspect first, reassure the body, nothing bad's going to happen, this will be awesome, and then go with the ego. And the ego will take more time, it is subtle. It is the part of her that is always looking and accumulating data to protect herself. So this is the aspect that will collect data that would be considered negative. Now, for so long, 
that aspect is co collected data to create this very safe environment. And it was a good thing. It was a good thing. And we're very grateful for the ego for doing that for her so that she can have this, this pleasant life during a very, very difficult period of time. Okay. That's awesome. And we need to let the ego know that we appreciate the job that they've done, the work that they've done. They've worked very, very hard to do this. But now we have to convince the ego that with the amnesia dropping off and knowing who you really are, that it's safe to come out now. And that the option to let down those walls and stop collecting data that's negative, that there's a reason for that. As long as you're collecting that negative data, sending out that worry, you're recreating that negative atmosphere, that negative place. You keep you right smack dab in 4D, absolutely. So you have to explain to the ego constantly because constantly is what the ego is doing. The ego is your mind thinking, thinking, thinking all the time, all the time. So with her, she's going to be concentrating on um, feeding her artist, noticing when there's a conversation because I'm around her and the bully will say something, but then the other aspect of her will soften it in the same sentence, same exact sentence. So what she needs to do and what she's working on is identifying those two aspects of her so that she can ease the ego into accepting of this new paradigm shift and feeding this artist and giving it more power and more energy and more support. Because right now it's been pretty much stamped down in order to and put back behind so it, it can be kept safe. And there's lots and lots of ways that she's going to do that. She's going to watch what she's thinking. She's going to learn to meditate and shut off that mind. That will help a great deal. Um, because when the mind is busy like that, you can't flow. The mind slows everything down uh, because it is so slow. And you cannot go with the flow of things if you have to think about them. Never works. Never works. Too slow. So she's going to work at trying to shut off that mind, ease the ego, into understanding that to let go of the fear that there is no need to con collect that data anymore, that she can get, she's got this, that she understands she's a creator goddess and she's very good at it. And she needs to get the egoic side of her, that physical body side of her to relax and trust the artistic side to kind of start to take over. And, uh, this will be, um, and all a full-time job as she does this, as it will be for anyone who's dealing with this circumstance. Now, the reason why I like talking to you guys and then doing videos is because Stephanie and I are so not connected to our human body energies. And uh, we really have very little ego left at this point because we've disconnected from it almost too much. That's how I end up hurting this physical body a lot is because I'm not attached to it. So I did not have that perspective to give you, but being around Tara, I have uh, been able to get that picture. So that is what I've tried to explain to you guys in the sharing of supporting one another. You don't have to be great friends. You don't have to go to lunch together or vacation together, but simply sharing where you are and what you're struggling with and how you've learned to deal with it. Maybe if you don't have the words, just describe what it is. We'll help other people because I just have my perspective of what I've done. And until I look or am asked about someone else's perspective, it's kind of like the internet. Unless I type in the right Google search words, I don't go to that question. And if I don't even know what the words are, I can't go and get you an answer and do you a video. That's how it works. So she was, she has very, very, very graciously let me talk about this and, uh, which is awesome because she will do it because that's just how she is. She will, this is a magnificently difficult situation energetically, but she has absolute, uh, she has, she thinks I've got a lot of tenacity. She has no idea that hers has ever been as strong and she will absolutely get this done because her desire to go home is that strong. She just didn't know how. And now that she's got a lot of those ways that she can do this, and uh, really a lot of it is shutting off the mind, 
uh, comforting the body and kind of soothing the ego out of always collecting negative data. And also she's going to stop doing things by rote because the ego does that. Let's do this and then this and then this every single day. Every week looks very much the same. Well, in 5D, nothing looks the same ever, moment to moment. You're always doing something different. So in order to uh, get more to 5D, then she's going to start creating that kind of atmosphere in her life. And it's a struggle because she's going, she's dealing on the inside with two very little different feelings. So she's tried to do the happier and happier and she's getting kicked and that's the reason why. It's because she's got two sides. Somebody's always unhappy which makes it impossible for her to move to a higher vibration when there's this battle going on within herself. Okay, hopefully that story helped. I also wanted to stick on the end of this uh, to Dominique, to Jeannie, to Krista, and to Tara. Um, I picked you guys perfectly for the events that have happened and out there. Uh, all four ladies were perfect hostesses and made me feel very loved and welcomed and nurtured and safe uh, during the process of New Year's Eve. And um, Dominique kind of fired my energy up. Jeannie just was nurturing and comforting before the event, which helped me build my strength up in a very safe environment, safe and loving environment. Krista took me to the belly of the beast and uh, kept me laughing the whole time. She is a hoot and great fun. Matches New York City uh, perfectly. And although I couldn't stay there very long, and at that time I will come back and visit her often. Um, and then Tara, I went to Tara afterwards. Again, very loving, supportive, and helped me heal after the event, get my energies back up. Okay, I, I just wanted to say a huge, huge, huge loving hug. Thank you to these magnificent women uh, that I was lucky enough to bring into my life. So thank you everybody. And hopefully these two videos will touch on a new subject in lightly in a way that will help somebody. Okay. All right, guys, uh, huge hugs. And I love you guys so much. And I'll talk to you later. Bye now. Maybe I'll say bye later.